As explosive as the first episode was, I think this second one is closer to what Nier is about, at least to me. There is that glorious action, but it isn't the main focus. The world has all but forgotten the purpose for a war it still wages, as those who began the vicious circle remain silent on their high thrones amongst the stars. And every time there is a moment of silence, from the ashes rises something beautiful as the world slowly struggles to recover. And sometimes even those forged for war grow to move beyond it, or even become something beyond themselves. Almost everything has a deeper meaning and nothing is as it seems. Hello you beautiful people and welcome to some more Nier content. In the first impressions video I briefly mentioned Yoroha and their battle against the machines, but not knowing how soon the anime would dive into what led to this, I figured I wouldn't chance a spoiler and didn't say any more. But yeah, long story short, it's aliens. Whereas the first episode of Nier was full of action, swords, panties and explosions, the second episode shows us the beautiful and sad side of this world as we go into the city proper and dive into a world torn by war in ages past. There are little memories everywhere of what once was, but in typical Nier fashion the episode focuses more on what remains, but frames it with the scars of old destruction. Even in the broken city nature still flourishes, but sometimes it needs someone to tend to it and this is where the sad part of the story comes from. Episode 2 also introduces the resistance. Androids who have been fighting the machines for centuries on the ground and who, unlike the soldiers of Yorha, cannot upload themselves onto a space station to be reborn. If they die, they die. End of story. And so the war has turned into a bitter struggle against insurmountable odds where many of them have grown mistrusting and believe themselves abandoned to die a slow death, forgotten and lost, fighting a meaningless war for all of eternity. Honestly, yeah, it is a bit artsy-fartsy, but then again, so is the game, and the quiet artistic scenes serve a purpose, they fit in and are in good balance with the more action-packed scenes, and honestly it wouldn't feel like near if it didn't go this hard at creating insane depth and making simple things as sad as it possibly could. Do let me know in the comments below what did you think about this episode that was frankly very different from the first one. Were you expecting a straightforward hack and slash featuring Tubi's very short skirt, and are you disappointed that the show goes straight off the deep end with something almost completely different. If you like this, like it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe for more anime goodness and check the links in the description if you want to engage with me outside of YouTube. With this, I have been Cheese and I hope to see you next time. Ta-ta for now.